Okay, welcome back, dear friends. This time, I'd like to go through the virtual machine of a fun box launch breaker, and I will put the link into the description section below so that you can download this image. Before we start、uh, today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now get started. To save time, I have already imported、uh, this virtual machine into the virtual box, and now I'd like to go into the virtual machine of Kali Linux. As you can see over here, the IP address of the virtual machine has been identified as two hundred and fifty-three, and also I did the map scanning. From the map scanning result, as you can see over here, the three open ports. The first one is twenty-one, and、uh, the version information of of, of FTP. Of course, as we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability we can exploit, but、uh, this FTP does allow anonymous FTP logging. And、uh, later we will check on this. And、uh, the next port, which is SSH, runs. Running SSH service, of course. Again, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. And next one is AT, which runs HTTP service. Of course, now we need to do some basic emulation for the AT twenty one and the AT port. Okay, the first one is twenty one or FTP, and we specify the IP address of the virtual machine, and we can. Specify the username as anonymous and leave password as blank. And now we have ready. Yeah, I think there's some、uh, files we we need to get or download such a file as three, so t. Oh, sorry, get. Okay, get super. And also, there is、uh, one directory, WordPress. Go to this WordPress. I think,、uh, as we, I think, if you're familiar with the WordPress、uh, CMS, the most important、uh, file would be a configure file、uh, from the perspective of a pen tester, and we can download the this file. Okay, now let's quit. So, I think、uh, we can display the content, and this information, of course, is encoded in base sixty-four. We can decode without any issue. Okay. I think uh, uh, the after decoding the maze in the the information or message, we got to, like if the radiance of a thousand suns were to burst at once into the sky, I think、uh, this information、uh, useless, and also we can cut another file which is super, and uh, this uh, if you're familiar with the, this、uh, format or. Or encoding a format. This message is encoded in brain fuck. <laughs> Sorry,、uh, I I use this word, but this is actual、uh, algorithm to encode. And I can tell you, you can of course you can use whatever website. You know, there are so many websites can help us to decode such a message in brain fuck、uh, <laughs> algorithm. But it didn't give us any useful information. So I also we got the WordPress config file, and there is the credentials for the database collection. As you can see,、uh, like、uh, I think somewhere around here, yeah, the database user and also the password. But、uh, I can tell you, this information is is useless. So we need to 
uh, we need to jump into another port, which is 80. So now let's, of course, we need to close other tab and uh, we can specify the IP address of the target. And uh, there is just only one image. But, uh, and also I tried to, when I did this box uh, in this morning, uh, to find out whether this image has some hidden uh, messages, but it didn't have. And uh, so, of course, to save time, I will not do it now. And also, we check the source code of the, the page. And uh, we need to scroll to a right. Yeah, there is one comment. Yeah, you must look at the co source code very carefully. Otherwise, you will miss this important information. As you can see, there may be some sort of user name like Jenny, right? And uh, so now we can use the Hydra to crack the password for the user. Jenny, we can use Hydra. Jenny and uh, use the word list. Lock you. And uh, we, firstly, we try to crack the FTP surface. If it didn't, uh, work and then we can move on to the SSH surface and we can specify the IP address of the virtual machine. Let's go. So because the password is very simple, just a password. So now we can, so the Hydra uh, cracked with very quick speed and now we can log in to FTP and uh, here this time we use the Jenny as username and password is password and uh, now so I think um, now we can the print working directory now we are in the home directory of user Jenny and also we can go to the backups and here we have information but uh, I can tell you the, such information, keys, dot txt, is, I, I think is some sort of rabbit hole. And, but uh, if we go to the home directory, there's some, there's some other user names or some users. So not, now let's quit the FTP. And now we have already got the FTP. And now we need to crack the password for other users. For example, like uh, like Jim, we can use Hydra and Jim. Uh, yeah, the password is it's a much simpler simpler. Sorry, excuse me. Now we can FTP again as Jim, and uh, the password is one two three four five. And now we can list the content. And now we uh, can go to the SSH subdirectory, list the content. So, but uh, as you can see, the size of uh, such two files are zero. So it would be meaningless for us. Now let's quit. N now we need to crack the password for another user, which is Julius. Okay. And uh, we can Julius. So I think uh, this virtual machine is not as easy as the author mm, described in the instruction. The several rabbit holes. If you fall into such rabbit holes, maybe you cannot uh, climb out and get the good result or successful result. And it will take 
a bit long time to finish uh, this process. Uh, I don't want to make the video uh, so long, so I like to pause. And uh, when, it's, when it's done, I will come back. After three or a longer, three minutes or longer, uh, we successfully cracked the password for the Julius. And now we can FTP to the target again. This time we put the username as Julius. And the password is sexy lady. And now we can list the content. And there is another backup of files. And the, I think there are several of files. And uh, such a file may be some dictionary password dictionary and any of course over those four, five or oh, sorry four files this file the size is empty of course we do not need uh, such a file and this one is also the case so we need to download this file and this file and we can use the get the bat No problem, and uh, good. No problem, quit. And we need to combine uh, these two dictionary or password dictionary. And this would be very easy. We can use the cat and uh, good and uh, to append the content of this file into the bad password. So now there are just uh, only one uh, password dictionary we can use. And the next we need to crack the password for the next user, which is John. We can use the Hydra, Hydra, John. Uh, and I can tell you if I use the the normal word list like lock you, I cannot get this out, get the the password out. We need to use the, the 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 password provided by the author or by the virtual machine. And uh, Okay, now the Hydra will go through all possible passwords from the the customized dictionary, password dictionary, which we downloaded from the virtual machine. Yeah, now we have already retrieved the password for the user John, and now we can FTP to the target again and put the Use name as John, and we can copy the password and paste in here and list the content. And uh, there is to do directory, and uh, there is one file to do list. And now, now let's quit the FTP, and we can cut. Uh, this file. So install lamp, install firewall, install plesk, chance, loot, password, because it's the same right now. So maybe the loot user use the same password as John. Now we can, of course, we can log in loot to the target. Okay, we need to remove the cached session or cached keys. And now let's log in. And the password we can copy. We can copy this password. Paste it in here. 
but it cannot. Cannot. So we need to maybe we can try the John. And the password. Yeah. So maybe uh, the author has already configured the SSH configuration. It didn't allow loot logging. And uh, now we can go to the. Of course, the password of loot is the same as John, and we can switch to the loot user. And now let's go to the loot directory. Yeah, we got the loot flag. Okay, no problem. So if we can go to the uh, configuration directory and go to the SSH cat SST config. Yeah, as you can see, the loot is not allowed to log in, prohibit password. So it confirms our guess. Anyway, we have already completed this virtual machine. And uh, uh, I, I, of course, this, I think, again, uh, I think this virtual machine is doesn't sound, uh, sorry, it's not... Um, is not as easy as it sounds. Okay, I'd like to conclude my today's video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.